so basically what the plan is is just to look around and see what new things I can do. I think adding some hills might make this look more nice. Oh yeah, so these honey blocks, I'm not certain what I wanted to do with them, but I think that it just looks kind of interesting. The whole point of this world was just to use blocks that I normally wouldn't use and try and build a bunch of traps. I use, made this floor because if I don't generally use the different types of uh, stone that were added a while ago. And then I saw this and I thought that'd be interesting for a corner block. Um, I put in a blast furnace because I think blast furnaces look cooler than regular furnaces. Uh, I put in a redstone lamp because I felt that that complements everything. With these, I just like the idea of if I'm going to be worked doors, then it'd be cool to have this kind of shaded color for one of the blocks. And then I just thought the red complemented it and looked similar enough. That's actually weird. If you run across this spots between the two different noises of you walking. So you can actually get a bunch of different noises of rocking around. It seems like it's a noise. Um, now it's down here. As I was talking about yesterday, which couldn't be picked up, I basically made it to where these things are there to make it look like the lava has burnt everything around here. And this is this single stone pillar here, which used to jump up here. And then here's where everything started. I just found this ruined portal. And. I wanted to make it to where I could build like a wall around it and potentially build a castle around it. So far I haven't built an actual castle, but I have built this wall here and I put a quotes around this thing. It looked like somebody was building around the nether that was escaping the portal. And then the portal eventually had to be shut off because of that. Uh, oh yeah, one thing that's weird that I did is originally this chest was on this side, so I just did control and middle mouse button, which gives you the NVT version of the chest, and then placed on the other side, which keeps all the ingredients in it. Um, which actually, now that I think about it, you could have almost made this portal regularly in actual Minecraft. The only thing is, is that this is here, which I swapped that around. Oh, but yeah, I, I then tried to figure out different, like, how to play sound things. And so I messed with this and set up the portal. And then the next thing I worked on was that lava pit that I talked about first and making a flame-resistant cow that can never die, and I named him Cow. But it's spelled C-A-O. Uh, then, as you've just seen from the start of the video, I had this area set up, where you teleport up here. And I basically built this in the last video that didn't have any audio. And overall, I think it looks really cool. It's very strange, which is kind of the point of it, but that's what I like about it. Oh, I just realized this is something kind of weird. I might have to build something over here, but I have to be careful to make sure it doesn't all just <laughs> fall down. Eventually, I'm going to want to have like this entire like chunks of area covered with stuff. And the final thing I did, oh yeah, I actually had it summon a fire block like right here just to get this over. But here we go. 
I built this entire like, thing here with like the broken parts of it and threw in some cracked bricks occasionally, like here, here. Uh, and then I did the same thing over here. I used the fill command to get the general area of it, and then I just broke a bunch of blocks and then replaced a bunch of blocks. Uh, here I just wanted to trap a gas, so it's like you go in and you immediately hear the gas noises, and then it's like, oh dang, it's right there, but it's hidden with the end crystal, so you're safe. And technically, if this was a survival world, I would probably have a button set up where you could press it and it would instantly make this contraption and then you could just jump down here somehow, punch that and then get gas materials. But I'd probably make it to where it would take a while to refresh by like putting like a bunch of repeaters, like as many as possible on the slowest speed. And then, yeah, I just built the bridge like how a regular nether fortress would have it into here and then just broke the blocks away to make it so you can get in here. And overall that is everything that I wanted to show and this is basically just a test of see if the mic works for this. And I am using metal.tv right now but if this and like I like how this works a lot better because it just immediately starts doing the video recording as soon as I open an application, so all I'll have to do is go into Premiere Pro and edit it later, but the two videos that I have so far are unedited due to the fact that they don't have proper mic footage, so I just figured no reason to actually edit them. But yeah, uh, if this works out, I will do that, and I will see you all later.